Uh, Thanksgiving Day is almost here and all day long. Today it was a rush to get ready. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Angela Taylor. For so many here in the Triangle, it's shaping up to be a very different Thanksgiving than a year ago. Families reuniting, but also that last minute rush from the roads to the airports, then to the grocery store. Tonight, all of our crews are over checking out the late Thanksgiving rush. We're going to begin with CBS 17 Sean Cudahy live in Raleigh. Sean, a lot of people excited to be able to get together. Hey, you certainly get that feeling, Rod and Angela, here at Glenwood South. The big night is always the night before Thanksgiving for folks to come together and celebrate. You can see that is going on here tonight. We didn't see too much of this last year. We also last year did not see too many of those expected hectic, hectic moments leading up to the holiday. The long morning lines at TSA checkpoints gave way to gridlock outside RDU. Traffic jams headed toward the terminal meant packed shuttles and passengers waiting to be picked up by family. Oh, probably 25 minutes. And Ubers and Lyfts. I've been texting them and I'm like, come on, come on, can you hurry up? In a year where rideshare apps have been tested by driver shortages, I found surge pricing on one app with more than $50 fares to downtown Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill during evening rush. <laughs> Let's remember, isn't this usually what Thanksgiving Eve is like? From those packed terminals to busy roads captured in the CBS 17 weather beast. But this holiday rush. This has been hectic, very hectic. Is a welcome one based on all the hugs we saw. Families like Shimona Hester's. It's a blessing. And the hangs. We did not have Thanksgiving last year. Reuniting with loved ones in 2021. I definitely think it's more special, more meaningful for families to get together. And back here live in Glenwood South again with people already coming together here tonight to celebrate. One reminder, a lot of uh, police on the roads tonight trying to crack down on drunk driving. Live in Raleigh, Sean Cudahy, CBS 17 News. All right.